So, the best way to do a PF tech is to not do it at all. It is more troublesome, more likely to contaminate, more work, and it's lower yielding than any other method. The best way to grow mushrooms at home is to use sterilized grain and cocoa choir in a plastic tote. All you have to do is colonize this. It's one injection as opposed to many, and it can yield up to 300 dried grams if you use two three pound bags and 10 pounds of properly hydrated and pasteurized cocoa choir. Um, not only is the PF tech more problematic and more expensive per yield and a bunch of other things, you have to create an entire humidity chamber and manage it and soak it and it's just more work for less and I really don't recommend doing it. However, if you're against buying grain and you don't own a pressure cooker, this can come in handy to make the spawn because you can sterilize it by boiling it or steaming it for 90 or more minutes. So here's how you make it. You want two parts vermiculite, preferably fine vermiculite, and then you want one part water. This should bring it to filled capacity, meaning that it holds all the water and it doesn't drip any, but it can't hold any more water. And you have to mix the vermiculite and the water first. If you mix the flour, it doesn't turn out right because you want the vermiculite particles that are moist to be coated with the brown rice flour. You should also use a one part per two parts vermiculite per one part water of brown rice flour. This should be mixed in after the vermiculite is hydrated to form a light, fluffy, and damp substrate. Once you've done that, you want to fill a half pint uh, wide mouth, preferably, as long as the um, sides are flat, because you have to get the cake out of this, and if it bulges out, you're not going to be able to, and it'll be problematic for you. You want to fill it up to about that much. I, I would say that's maybe right to the rim of the where the threads begin. And then you want to add an additional layer of the fine vermiculite on top. This will act as a really crappy filter that is prone to contamination. Unlike a sterilized grain bag, which has a 0.2 micron filter and works much better. Once you've done that, you can put on the lid and poke five holes in it. You can use a center die punch. They're about five to ten dollars, depending on where you get them. And you put one in the center and four on the perimeter of the ring. This produces small enough holes that you can just barely fit an 18 gauge syringe needle through it. That is probably the easiest way to poke holes into a mason jar lid. Have to be careful though. Um, sometimes it doesn't get the perfect hole. And then your PF Tech is ready to go. At that point, you want to take some aluminum foil Cover it as tight as you can. And once you've done that, sterilize it with boiling water for at least 90 minutes. Then when it's done um, being sterilized in a glove box, since uh, this doesn't have self-healing injection ports, then you can inoculate the uh, grain. You want per jar, you want to use about half a milliliter to one milliliter of substrate of liquid culture or spore solution. 
and you want to divide that out throughout the five holes that you've produced. Um, once you've inoculated it, allow it to colonize. It'll take up to a week or longer, depending on how fresh the spores are, how um, well you've made it, and the temperature of your house. You don't need to worry about incubating it. Room temperature is fine. And um, yeah, other than that, you don't have to worry about light exposure. It'll colonize just fine in the dark. It'll colonize just fine in, you know, uh, room lighting. And that's all it takes. I really don't recommend using this to fruit as a cake. Once it gets fully colonized, what a better approach is, is to take it out, uh, soak it in water at room temperature for about 24 hours, let it really get hydrated, and then just break it into pieces and use that as spawn. You can mix it with a, you can mix it with pasteurized hydrated cocoa choir and just do a monotub. If you want to go the other route where you build a shotgun fruiting chamber and have perlite in the bottom and worry about humidity and worry about moisture, you can do that, but ultimately it ends up being more expensive because now you have to buy for, uh, you have to buy perlite, you have to buy a tote, you have to buy something to punch holes into the tote to make the shotgun fruiting chamber, and it's just more work. It's always better. Like, PF Tech is the classic way of growing mushrooms, but it's not the best way. And the best way is to use sterilized grain, a bulk substrate such as cocoa choir, which is very resistant to contamination. You don't have to worry about sterile technique at that point. Just mix it in with the fully colonized grain spawn. Um, and yeah, this, this process, you have to buy the brown rice flour, generally like five bucks for only a few pounds. You have to buy vermiculite, which is generally, you have to buy a bigger bag of it. So, you know, maybe you're at $10 uh, or $15 in total. Uh, half pints really only yield maybe seven grams dried. And so you have to have a bunch of mason jars. You have to poke a bunch of holes in lids and it's just more work and more worry than it's worth. On the other hand, um, you can buy two three-pound bags of sterilized grain for $16.30. You can buy a large 10-pound uh, block of cocoa choir, which will last you many grows, for $10. And you can buy a like 18-gallon plastic tote for probably another $10. And your grow is only going to cost you $30, not including the cost of spores which is around uh, 7 to $10, depending on where you get them. So, you know, you can grow one monotub and spend $50 and get 300 dried grams, or you can screw around with this crap and, you know, get your fingers messy and get contaminations and waste more money for less mushrooms. Um, you know, like, it, it's your choice, but sterilized grain, making spawn, cocoa choir in a plastic tote is the best option. You don't even need to poke holes or add polyfill to the plastic tote. All you have to do is take the lid, take it off, and move it about an inch or a half an inch when it's ready to fruit when it's fully colonized. Um, that's probably not better uh, than a monotub with holes drilled into the side and polyfill and having it dialed in, but it works just fine. You're not going to get a contamination at that point, and you're probably going to be checking your grow a few times a day anyway, so you can give it a spray. You don't need to worry about moisture content. It's very easy to do it that way. Um, so yeah, th those are my thoughts on PF Tech, how to do it, and better and cheaper alternatives that are more foolproof and higher yielding.